today is Ribafilo Munapula, the gorgeous outspoken individual. Welcome, Brayball. Hi. Um, first of all, can you tell me how did you find this job when you first started? You you know, um it's a long story. Mm -hmm. Um when I've been when it comes to radio I've been I've been doing it for years and years. I started a long time ago, Kelly Joy Radio. It was mm -hmm. in two thousand and one. Mm -hmm. So from then on I went ahead got school own. and um in two thousand and four I was at Varsity and then I came back and became casual. Then when I was there, a friend uh, asked me, Hohana, um, don't I want to go somewhere else and do something else? Mm -hmm. Because at that time, Joy wasn't um, the way it used to be. In say Chinchi, that's why I wanted something a little bit better. Okay. So I, uh, I decided to come and try my luck with uh, the Ultimate Radio. And at that time, I had heard about Batla Abatu, uh, people who've done, uh, at least who have a degree. Mm -hmm. So I had obtained my degree by then, that was in 2009. I decided to come um, to the ultimate. At that time, uh, um, I, I, I directed then, it was such a struggle to get to, you know, Butla mm -hmm. Abatu Samana. And it really is not easy, you know, with the like government, there are lots of things that I'm also using on so yes. it was a hassle. I worked in 2009 as um, more like a part-time, uh, uh, 2010, that's when I got employed handily, okay. permanently. Wow, that's very nice. So presently, what is the name of the program you're running and when does it start? Okay. I do the ultimate breakfast preloaded. That's the ultimate browser, something that wakes us up in the morning. Okay. And um, it starts from 5 in the morning to 9 in the morning. Right on the ultimate radio, okay, the time it is just 18 minutes or remaining. Before we get to that one, 9 right on the ultimate radio, that's an amazing track. Beautiful stuff. <laughs> but it gets really. a lot of people talking, it's, it gets a lot of people thinking. So, um, coming into more maybe, uh, fun stuff of your job. What is the best thing about being a radio presenter? <laughs> okay, um, I would say being able to meet different people, mm -hmm. you learn from different people, you learn so many things and you get to interact with a lot of different people, that's very exciting as well. Okay. And uh, interacting with young people, as old as I am, I like interacting with young people as well. Mm -hmm. you, you learn from young people too. Okay. So those are some of the things that I like uh, as well. Others would say, um, you know, with the entertainment industry, that's where you get a lot of entertainment and have lots of fun and go to lots of parties. But um, it's a very unfortunate, I'm not much of a party person. And uh, um, as much as I like interacting with a lot of people, it's mostly more about learning from them. Mm -hmm. And uh, mainly with a lot of people, you get to have connections. Yes. And when you have connections, they help you so much in life. You realize that in house of more. So what do you love about your business? Okay, this is uh, something that I would say I'm passionate about, especially how you can work I want. How do you look my listeners, they, um, they made me who I am. Mm -hmm. You know, I would come to the studio with my own baggage, you know, you have your own problems, could be financial problems, uh, relationships at home, a lot of stuff. But then, when you get into the studio, and you know they are there, they are listening. And sometimes they call you, they cheer you up. Yes. That's what I love. Kore, I've always wanted them to know Kore. This show is not about me, yeah. it's about them. I exist because of them. Yes. If it wasn't be because of them, I wouldn't be... I think I'd be miserable. <laughs> because they're, they're just so much fun. They make me who I am. And knowing that there are people out there who appreciate what I, what I do mm -hmm. makes it, I, I, I want to wake up in the morning because I know that they. So tell me, do you have to have a loud voice for the radio? A loud voice? Yes. You have, you know, there the, are the different um, techniques, say, it's a Sibiti Swang for one who has to be in radio. You have to be someone who's able to. To have a powerful voice, not loud. Yes. Um, you could have a loud voice, but so you have to be able to 
a powerful voice. The, they, they call it modulation. There, there's resonance as well. There's all that. Who's able to to be listened to? You can go on radio and wow, a squeaky voice, but a loud still. Fella is a man. So you know, time it is uh, 28 minutes before we get to that one. I'm right to the ultimate radio. This is that time you have been waiting for. I know I've been talking about this starting from last week. Yes, that was from last week when I was uh, actually letting you know that we'll have uh, megahertz in our ultimate radio. Mr. Sidechick, Mr. Hibana. I'm just calling him all these uh, different <laughs> names like that. How are you doing? I'm megahertz? awesome. Are you? I'm, I'm great. I'm great. <sighs> So moving on to fashion, you always look flawless, especially on red carpet. Can you tell me, how do you describe your, your style? Because I don't know. <laughs> Each and every single day, every single day you have to strive yes. to look your best. You don't know where you're going to meet. Exactly. <laughs> so, um, I, I, I don't really do it for the people. Mm -hmm. I feel good when I look good. Mm -hmm. And that gives me confidence. So one last thing, uh, what advice would you give to people, particularly in this field? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, yeah, this field is very dangerous, I would say, <laughs> because um, this is where you meet a lot of people. But, uh, you know, this, this doesn't only apply to women, I get very dangerous, because when one says that, one would say, uh, we'll make it bossy. It doesn't only apply to women, it applies to men too. So when you're in this industry, you receive a lot of attention. You receive, a, there are lots of people who would be crazy about you, lots of people would like to see you. And you get a lot of people come to you as well, they want to go up with you, they want to do, you need to be careful, you need to be aware of those things because um, if you will end up going everywhere with A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all over the place, and unfortunately, you won't go far. And but uh, one by one, get out of the fashion and all the other way. Get in fashion. That's what the entertainment industry is all about. But now nah, I cannot do get in fashion because I cannot go. Yes. That's why um, I find I do go out, but I, I can't be everywhere because I still feel that the, the, there's a certain identity I have to uh, to uphold. There are certain things I need. Um, I ah, ah, always there all the time. Yeah. Hour nine. Yes, we are about to wrap things up, and um, 